Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2020 Post University Baseball Roundup. Uh, I am Brendan Faraday, the SID over at Post, and with me is Ray Scold, first year head baseball coach at Post University and former Post University alum. Uh, Ray, how are you today? Doing good. Thanks for having me, Brendan. Just trying to stay as competitive as I can here, trying to find ways to get better every day while being stuck inside. Okay. Yeah, that's all we can do. Uh, I guess we'll start off how the season go this year before everything ended. You guys were regionally ranked at one point. You beat a nationally ranked team in New York Tech. How do you think th things were looking this year before the season came to a halt? I was very, it was very positive, very encouraging the way the season was going. I thought that we were producing a good result on the field, and I thought we were really starting to hit our stride. I thought we were playing better baseball as the season was progressing. Uh, did you feel your, your first few games against Tampa, defending champs, number one team in the country, helped, helped you guys guide you to, to where you guys thought you could be? I did. I thought it was definitely a learning experience, uh, definitely a, a reality check. And I thought it was good for our guys just to see, hey, this is what it looks like at the highest level. This is what playing a defending national champ looks like. If you want to get there someday, well, this is the way you have to play. You know, one of the things that they did much better than we did in that series is they didn't give up the free base as many times as we did. So you, you chalk up the Tampa series a little bit as a learning experience. And I truly believe that when we left Tampa, we were a better team than when we showed up. And uh, you guys did great in, uh, down, in Flor uh, down in Florida and during your games in, Carol in the Carolinas. Uh, what did you see as the, as the outlook moving forward? You know, how do you think you guys are going to perform in CACC play uh, after that? Well, it was encouraging because the, specifically the win against New York Tech um, we had only given up three free bases in the entire game. That's a big philosophy of mine is, is eliminating the free base. And we were working hard at practice with that daily. And to see that kind of translate on the field was tremendous. I think in the second game against Tampa, we had given up 40 free bases in that game. So to see the progression of where the guys were at with 40 free bases a couple weeks ago, then to giving up only three free bases in that New York Tech game was really encouraging. And I thought that that was really going to translate to high quality results when we started CACC play. And, uh, you know, the season obviously came to an abrupt end and you guys were just about getting onto the field that, that day when the season ended. How did you guys take that news? What were, what were you kind of doing at the time and how did – you and the team take the news? Were they kind of expecting it after other major sports leagues had kind of shut down the, the day prior or a couple days prior? Well, yeah, you were hearing a lot of the rumors, you know, things on social media about teams and different schools canceling their seasons, uh, different conferences canceling their seasons. So we were literally on the field taking batting practice when uh, our administration called me up and said, hey, you got to pull the team off the, the field. So we literally pulled the guys off the field. And uh, unfortunately, I had to be the guy who was the bearer of bad news and, and, and tell them that we were going home early due to the pandemic. And the guys were really emotional. I mean, it was not something uh, that anybody took well. I mean, at the time, the NCAA hadn't given out that statement saying that they were going to give their seniors – that year back. So for some of these guys, they kind of thought that this was it, you know, that this was how their you know, career was going to end. So guys were very, very emotional. It was, it was very upsetting. Um, but I'm happy that the NCAA did the right thing and got their, the seniors their year back. Uh, so everybody can still kind of come back for, for one last ride next year. And returning as many as you, as you are, do you, What's your outlook for, for next season? Uh, what do you do? You, those same guys coming back. What's your outlook for 2021, even if it higher than this season? Yeah, I think that we have one heck of a core uh, coming back here next year. And it's going to be really exciting to see what we can accomplish next year. This is a very tight knit 
group of student athletes. Uh, these guys really embody playing for each other, you know, picking up your brother. Uh, these guys are really, really close. And I think that they feel like there's a lot of unfinished business that they got to take care of in 2021. So I'm, I'm just as excited as they are to get back on the field next year. Well, that's good. That's awesome. We're definitely looking forward to it next season. There's so much promise with this team and the, the sky's the limit with them. Uh, Ray, thank you for joining uh, us. Uh, we hope to do more of these baseball roundups. And everyone have a great day. Thanks, Brendan. Appreciate it.